we are primarily focusing on three other key priority areas in addition to, of course, the political track. The first priority is to support our people in Gaza. They need every support we can. And I think the best support we can all do for them is to speed up the ceasefire. Every day represents a major loss of human lives and properties and hope for our people. So we want to see a ceasefire taking place very quickly. And we want to be prepared as a government to do the necessary job of taking care of our people in the, the, the first opportunity we have in terms of providing humanitarian help, in terms of restoring basic services, in terms of rebuilding the institutions of the Palestinian Authority in Gaza, reintegrate them with our institutions at the West Bank, and start building the initial steps for economic recovery and hopefully a better, provide a better life for our people in Gaza. The second priority our government is working on is to reform and build better institutions that are capable of meeting the expectations of our citizens, improve our efficiency of providing these services, make them more efficient and less costly, but also make them more transparent and sustainable. We are going to work on implementing an agenda that we have developed over the last few weeks to turn around things in Palestine so that we not only get closer to our people, not only be able to provide services in a better fashion, but also build the institutions of the state that we all want to see realized on the ground as soon as possible. And institutions are key for good governance and for viable states. And the third priority for the government is to stabilize the financial and economic situation on the ground. Things have been very difficult in this area too. Uh, not only because of the war, before that the continuing occupation, restrictions of movement and access, which you referred to, uh, Mr. Borrell, and the siege on Gaza, uh, but also in the last few months an increased pressure on the finances of the Palestinian Authority because of the decisions by the Israeli government to withhold significant resources that are important to us as a government to continue to provide services for our citizens.